Okay, we are uh, you know, coming off a, a very productive uh, bye week where we got a lot of fundamental work with our football team and uh, got a lot of reps. Uh, so we hope that's going to pay off for us as we go through the rest of the season. And now we're looking forward to getting back into uh, Keenan Stadium and in the tar pit and, and uh, playing a Coastal Division uh, team. So it's been, we're going into the seventh week of the season and now we are coming back for the second home game. So it's kind of unusual, but uh, we're glad to be back. After the storm, when they had those four or five days off, the kids all were all talking about how it was a reset button that they needed. Right. After the game in Miami, they were all saying, no, this isn't a reset button. We can't look at it like that. We have this, The onus is on us. Have you seen that kind of responsibility since then? Yeah, I think, I think the guys are, I mean, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with the way they come out to practice and their attitudes and, uh, you know, the effort that they give out there. I mean, uh, those guys are, you know, each day, they're making each day important, you know, and, and they know if it's going to be important on Saturday night, it's got to be important on Sunday or Monday or whatever day it is. So uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the way they've responded. Where you're in week seven, you only played one home game? Not that I can recall, no. It's how very unusual. That, how much does that affect I mean, being on the road all the time like that? Yeah, well, you know, the, the, the other part of it is, I mean, you know, we're kind of creatures of habit, and, and this has been a season where you haven't been able to get into a normal week routine, you know, and so uh, that really won't take place until this next week where we start getting into the same routine of, of – of a normal week, you know, so it's uh, it's really unusual. You don't make excuses, but is, is there an adverse effect to that, you think? Uh, I, I mean, there could be, but I, I'm, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know the answer to that. I mean, I, I'm not going to use that as a, as a reason why we're in the situation we're in right now. It's just uh, you have to deal with whatever situations come up. With the, uh, with the week to do the fundamentals and get the reps, have you come to any clarity as to how the quarterback situation is going to shake out on Saturday? Uh, we're, getting, we're getting closer. Yeah, I think our guys are, are competing well. I think they're all, uh, they're all anxious to prove that uh, they can play better than, than what we have at the position. And so I think the competition has been really good. And so we're gonna, we'll have somebody ready to go out there on Saturday. You're not going to name who it is. Is there is there any chance that you'll go with two, or are you committed to getting one guy and having him be the guy? There's a chance anything could happen. Beyond ball security and obviously not turning the ball over, what else are you really looking for with the quarterback position? And Just, into uh, you know, you're looking at everything. We evaluate each and everything. I mean, how they carry themselves off the field, what they do leadership-wise. Uh, you know, obviously taking care of the football is the, the, the most important thing they can do. And then just the decision-making process, understanding situational football. You know, the game, the game is situational, and you, you need to understand, you know, when do I need to, to pick this first down up and when is it okay to punt? You know, all those things have to be understood. When you look at Chaz on the film with the throws he made in Miami, what, what stood out with the mistakes that he made in that game? Just, it was just a decision-making process. That's all it was. It was just processing and uh, making the, the, the right decision based on what he saw. How much of that is when you're not in the flow, you're in you know, the suspension, and you're behind coming in? I mean, he is, you know, that was sort of the first time we've seen him all year. I mean, yeah. that put, has that put him behind? I know you're trying to prepare him behind the scenes as much as you can, but. Well, I hope not. I mean, I hope it hasn't. I hope that's, uh, you know, because you understand what the situation is, and you know what you're fixing to be going through. So you, you have to prepare yourself uh, whether you're getting the rep or you're watching the rep, we expect you to be getting a mental rep. And uh, you have to always – it's just like if you're the, you know, the number two quarterback. You, you have to prepare yourself to be the starter. I mean, you're an ankle away from being out on the field. And, and I think when that happens, you find out a lot of times if a guy has prepared himself. You know, and I'm not saying that, that Chaz hasn't. I'm saying that he didn't handle – the situation that night very well. It just didn't process things very well. Larry, quarterback play for you in this offense has been a strength dating back to you know, West Counts at Middle Tennessee State. What has been such a, a challenge in finding consistency the last year and a half? Uh, I, I think uh, part of it is, is uh, you know, we haven't had anybody separate. You know, when you have somebody that really will separate themselves, they 
they're going to get more reps. I mean, you know, when you try to get more guys ready, that's fewer reps for, for each guy. And I, and I think it's important that, uh, you know, that at that position, uh, basically in the, in the style of offense we run, that guy, the, the whole thing is in his hands. And so he has to be able to process. He has to be able to make good decisions. And so he needs more reps. Has that proven to be difficult in terms of – Limited with the hours you have with these guys and trying to maximize the reps they do get. Well, it's the same as everybody gets, though. I mean, you know, everybody gets the same amount of time. So, and basically, you you get so many reps within that time, and so it's how you split them and and what a guy does with them. Has there been any any change in your approach with uh, Cade uh, as, as a, becoming a potential backup quarterback for you, or more reps for him in practice, or anything like that? Any change at all with his approach? Well, I mean, there's been. Uh, I mean, we're this last week uh, since it was an open week. We got they, they all got a lot of reps, you know. So he got more reps than he would normally get. Yes. Was, was the bye well timed? I guess though, in the sense that when you have a game like the way it went in Miami, those things can snowball on a team. <coughs> a chance to step away, or would you have rather gotten right back out there and said, you know, get past it? Well, there's two trains of thought. You can get right back out there and, uh, you know, get the taste out of your mouth as quickly as possible and move on. Or you can, you know, go back to fundamentals and, and do the things. That, whenever the bye week comes, that's what you're going to do anyway. You're, you're going you're to prepare yourself for the rest of the season. You know, you're going to rest some guys that need to get rest. You're going to get as many reps you can with younger guys so they keep, uh, you know, they keep getting better as the year goes on. Uh, so, I, I don't know. We're going to look at it as a good way. I mean, is it a good time? We're going to always look at it that way. Not sure how much you've watched Virginia Tech at this point, but um, are they any different offensively with, with the new quarterback in there as they were with, with Jackson under center? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've, I've looked at a lot of film on them, and, and uh, you know, I, I think the new quarterback is doing a really nice job for them. I think he throws the ball really well. I think they are, you know, probably fewer uh, quarterback just runs, just just base runs. Now it doesn't mean he won't run the ball, but I, I think uh, you know they had more uh, called quarterback runs with the uh, other quarterback. Defending them, any is there any change in the way you would have to defend them because of the, the new quarterback? No, because they'll they'll still run him. I mean they'll still run him. I mean and I think he uh, I think he's he's done a really nice job. He's come in and made good decisions for him, and he's thrown the ball well. Tech, but Foster defense has always been a strength, but, but they've had some inconsistency and some moments of kind of uncharacteristic. They've also had a lot of turnover. Yeah, they're, their... they're young. They're young in some places over there on, on defense. Uh, I mean, but, uh, you know, Bud, Bud's always going to do a great job. I mean, he's going to have his guys ready to play, and, and they're going to always do things uh, a little bit different than a lot of other teams, and, and uh, they're always going to be very well prepared. Different, um, I mean, Results aside, I guess, is there anything that looks different in that regard for them? <coughs> Scheme, they schematically, they're they're the same that they've always been. They're they're always going to give you a multiple looks. They're going to uh, move the defensive front, uh, pre-snap and post-snap. Uh, they're going to uh, secondary wise. There's going to be a lot of different looks back there. Coach, obviously the the passing game has been a little bit of a struggle in moving the ball in the air. On the forward pass. Have you, is there any thought? You had success running the ball on the offensive line at times, played very well in opening holes for the running backs. Is there any thought to just really focus on, you know, buying into the running game a little bit more and really utilizing the, the three backs you have back there and making yeah, that we, focus your offense? I mean, I, I, I think we have bought into the running game. I mean, we believe in every game that we need to be able to run the ball efficiently to be successful. Uh, if you're asking me, have we thought about running the ball and not throwing the ball? I, I would say no, we haven't, we haven't thought that way.